Hey there, welcome back. I have another art journal process. Um, I mean, I don't really, honestly, I probably shouldn't even make this a voiceover because I don't even really know what to say about it. I feel like because I am just getting into art journaling and just kind of messing around, I don't really know what to say about my process. Because it doesn't really feel, it doesn't really feel like a th well thought out process right now. Um, but I just have a couple magazine clippings. The one with the girl by the pool, I have no idea what magazine that's from. The one on the left though is from Daphne's Diary which just has like different, I don't know, little hors d'oeuvre ideas. Um, and I'm just gonna tape both of those down. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure I made a video on it, but to be honest, I feel like I'm remembering making videos on things and then I go back and look for the video and the video doesn't exist. So maybe I never did, but I went through this book at one point and used up a whole bunch of random old cheap um like tempera paints so that is the random base that you see that's already down on the page um which the way that i've been doing it is i kind of have been using the base color that's already on the pages as like inspiration for the direction to go with the images that I choose so I chose the girl because she's wearing brown she's sitting in a gold chair and then I chose the uh, Daphne's diary image because of the yellow and the browns for the like bread or the crackers or whatever it's on um, honestly I didn't think too in-depth about it I just kind of grabbed stuff but I do really like how it turned out um, so I'm just gluing those down and I'm using Mod Podge and then I'm just going to put a layer of it around the edges mostly. Um, I don't remember if I put it over the whole thing. Um, it doesn't really matter honestly because I put a bunch of paint and stuff over it also. <laughs> so it doesn't make huge difference whether I put it all over the entire thing or not. Mostly I just want to make sure the edges are sealed so that um, the images don't start peeling up. Also the Mod Podge made the um, the magazine images like very wrinkly and I don't really know what to do about preventing that. However, Honestly, if I don't really care that much about preventing it, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Uh, like it's a little bit more pronounced once I start putting paints and stuff on, but I kind of don't mind it being crinkly looking. It adds texture to it. It kind of makes the pages feel thicker and sturdier. So I actually kind of like it. So maybe shouldn't have even mentioned that because I don't care about changing it that much. Um, for the paints, I'm using a mixture of, um, Craft Smart acrylic paints and um, probably an Artesa paint. Is this an Art? I think this is an Artesa paint. Yeah, so I use brown and then I also use a gray, which might seem kind of random um with all of the like warm tones and stuff but i feel like it looks pretty cool i don't know i think it turned out pretty cool so i like the gray <clears throat> and i mean i guess my process is pretty much the same as as the last one i did which was the blue one or I'm literally just slapping paint on. I am, I'm trying to keep the images mostly visible. 
while kind of blending the edges into the page. Oh, so this yellow paint is an Arteza, um, like metallic yellow, and it, it's pretty, pretty yellow. It looks very yellow um, right here, but it definitely, when it dries down, it still looks yellow, but not like as, not quite as stark. It looks a little slightly darker and just more of like more metallic -y. I don't know. And then this duochrome paint that I'm painting on is like, it's like a blue, yeah, like a blue and purpley kind of color. Again, seems like it maybe doesn't really go very well, but I think in the final product it ends up looking pretty nice. Um, and then I have this paint. What is this? Let me see. Um, this is a Craft Smart glitter paint. I don't even know. There's no other name for it. Um, it came in a pack of like six different ones. It might have even been in like the kids crafting section or something. Um, it's just like cheap, you know, water-based glitter paint. But I love it so much. It looks to me. It looks like like treasure, like buried treasure, like the coins and the uh, the gems and stuff. If you like spilled treasure out of a treasure box, I don't know. I don't know why it makes me think of that. Maybe it's the fact that, the, you know, there's a picture with the pool. I don't know. It just really makes me think of buried treasure. What am I even doing off to the side here? Anyway, uh, I have this gold metallic paint and what brand is this i think this is uh master's touch fine art studio uh, gold metallic paint and i just decided to do like these random kind of swirls and things I don't really know why I decided to do that. I just, I just did. It just came to me and I really like it. <laughs> um, I was running into some problems because I was being very impatient and I was not waiting for these layers to dry. So the, um, the rest of the paints were like, okay. They weren't really getting in the way, but the glitter, paint, the glitter paint was really, uh, getting in the way. A bit so I was kind of after that first like swipe over on the right I was kind of avoiding the glitter parts And then I just went and started putting some little splotches everywhere. And then the pages were very wet, so I let them dry for a bit. Um, when I came back, yeah, the page got stuck a little. When I came back, I had this uh, iron. Ein Art, Ein Art, I don't really know how to say that. It's A-E-N Art um, Outline Marker in like this greenish color. And I just kind of started drawing along the, the golden parts um, on some of the spots. I didn't do it on all of them. But... I think that's pretty much the the last thing I did on this one. It's pretty simple. Um, my art journaling pages in the process are probably going to be pretty simple um, while I just figure out what it is I like. Oh yeah, I put dots. Uh, while it is I figure out what I like and um, the different techniques that I enjoy. And while I learn some more techniques, because honestly, I'm just kind of winging it, 
don't really know what I'm doing, but it's fun. <laughs> so, you know, that's that. I do really like all the different like textures and all the shininess and glitter. Like I said in the last one, every single page I do in here is probably going to have glitter. A, because I have a lot of glitter paint and B, because I just love glitter so, so much. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you have any resources that you suggest for um, for art journaling stuff that I can look at, you can leave that in the comments. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.